cancer is a universal problem. It doesn't know the United States, India, Bhutan, any country. It doesn't know the gender, it doesn't know the age, right? From small age to 18 years, I have patients. And it's going to be a major, major killer in 2030. Right now, it is second. If you see after heart disease, it's the second malignancy, cancer is the second cause of death and morbidity in the world. The problem is, it is the misery and pain which not only patients suffer, but along with that, the whole family members suffer. Because it's quite a long journey, right, from diagnosis to investigations to surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, all those things. It takes a few months, few years. So, it has to be taken care of. And very important is the pocket. It burns the pocket. It's very, very costly disease. Because it requires major surgeries, it requires long radiation, it requires many chemotherapy drugs which are very very costly. It is very difficult. There is a there is there was a survey in Economics Times of India where to treat one cancer patient it requires around 3.5 lakhs rupees or maybe few million dollars. It's not very common for every person. Everybody is not rich. As there are different classes, so we have to think from that aspect also. So what is cancer basically? It is loss of normal growth of the cells. See, every by nature, every cell has been given one particular time span. For example, if you see the red blood cell, it has been given 120 days. After 120 days, automatically it will die. That is called as apoptosis. By some problem, it doesn't die after 120 days. It will just keep on reproducing. So if you want to choose two to four and that will form cancer. And there are Really, every organ has cancer, like it's brain tumor, it's breast tumor, it's liver cancer, stomach cancer, uterine cancer, soft tissue cancer, bone cancer, every organ has its own cancer. There are many myths, many facts, there are symptoms for different different cancers. So let me, uh, I'll not go in details, but that is, that's the whole you know, perspective of treating this. Basically, these are all carcinogens. Why? What? The causative agent for cancer is called as carcinogen. So, chemical carcinogen, physical carcinogens, sometimes the hereditary in the genes, sometimes where viruses like human papilloma virus or hepatitis B virus, they can create cancer. Hormonal imbalance in females for breast cancer and endometrial cancer. And now, this, it has been proved that stress is also one of the causative factors. And there are many unknown factors still, the research is going on. There are many unknown, we don't know still, but still the research is going on. So once somebody gets diagnosed with the cancer, we usually ask for this kind of test. Uh, first some tissue we take, we send it for biopsy, we test it with uh, microscope, whether it is positive or negative, and then we do some immunohistochemistry to treat, you know, diagnose whether it's genetic or other things. Imaging, CT scans, MRIs, then PET scan. PET scan is something like we do whole body scan, we see whether it's been only one place or it has been gone to other places, tumor markers. So all those things. Very important here is the survival. As there are four stages of cancer, one, two, three, four, zero is the pre-invasive state. So as the stage increases, the survival decreases. So for example, first and second stages are very early stages. You can have 70, 80, 90 percent success rate. And as the stage progresses, third and fourth, even in fourth stage, very minimal survival, maybe 10 percent, 20 percent. So the crux here is we have to diagnose. First of all, it's have to prevent it, and even if we have to, even if it is there, we have to diagnose it in very, very early stage. And the treatment modalities, we treat it with different modalities. It's not like a simple, you know, appendix where uh, surgery is only sufficient, but it is. It is multi-modality treatment. We do surgery, we, some patients may require chemotherapy, some patients may require radiation therapy, some may require combination of all, and there are newer methods like gene therapy and all also are required.